Hey guys, just making a quick video over what we're going to cover in class today. Um, essentially what we're doing is we're going to be looking at five different liquids, okay, and we're going to determine if they're an acid or not. And remember we talked about how acids are things that make hydrogen ions, which essentially is just a proton, okay? So if there's a lot of free-floating protons in a substance, we would call it an acid. So that's what we're going to be testing today, okay? So go ahead and follow along in Google Classroom and uh, answer the questions on there using what we go through in this video, okay? So um, we have five different substances, okay? So we have lemon juice, baking soda, vinegar, water, and ammonia. One second. All right, so we have those five different things, and we're going to do two different tests, okay? We're going to use a um, red litmus paper test. Okay, so I'm going to get some red litmus paper. And typic we won't typically use these to test for acids, but today we will. Um, red litmus paper, obviously, is it's red, okay? And if, it's, if it is uh, dipped into an acid, the color is not going to change. It's going to stay red. So we'll know when we dip these in, if there is not a color change, it's an acid, okay? It'll stay red. So I'm gonna start by dipping uh, one piece into the lemon juice. All right, when I look here, it doesn't look like much of color can change. It looks like it just got wet, okay? So you go ahead, you make that decision. Is lemon juice an acid? Doesn't look like we had a color change there. Okay, next up, baking soda. I'm gonna dip this into our baking soda solution. Here we go. What do you think? Is that an acid? Is baking soda an acid? Okay, next we have vinegar. What do you think? Looks just wet to me. You make that decision. Uh, next is just water. Do you think water is an acid? And then ammonia. So what do you think? All right. So that's these five, that's gonna be the red litmus paper test. Then the second test that we'll do is a phenol red test, okay? So this is a liquid. And as you can see, well, I'm gonna put a few drops into each test tube. Um, get it nice and pink, a few drops. And I don't know why I have six test tubes here, I only need five. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm going to mix these up, make sure they get pink. Hopefully that's showing up nicely. Um, they are turning pink, we're in business. And what's gonna happen with phenol red, if there is an acid put into these, it's gonna go from uh, pink to yellow, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pipette, I'm going to put a few drops into each solution, and we'll see if there's a color change. I'll bring these up here as we go. So first one is lemon juice. And this might be a little more clear than the red litmus paper test, okay? So you might want to use this test to help you answer your questions instead. Okay, so lemon juice. Okay, is lemon juice an acid? Okay, next we have baking soda. Stain pink. Right. So stain pink. Next one is vinegar. Is vinegar an acid? 
Okay. Next one is just water. So I'm going to actually try this one again because there was uh, some vinegar left in here in my syringe, or not my syringe, my pipette. So we'll do water again this time to keep it, keep it pure. We're just going to use out of this one, okay? So water, try it again. So it's staying pink. And then the last one is ammonia. I'm going to put some more phenol red in here. Okay. Get some more phenol red. Mix it up. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and put some ammonia in there. And nothing, it's staying pink. Okay. So go ahead on Google Classroom, uh, fill out whether lemon juice, baking soda, vinegar, water, and ammonia are acids or not. Remember, acids just are free floating protons, okay? They have a lot of hydrogen ions, positive hydrogen ions floating on in there. All right. Thanks, guys.